What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for September 22nd, 2020. So, we have a bunch, a bunch of information to go over. We have Mid-Autumn Celebration coming up, which is going to be a two-week event. This is going to be amazing. Before you guys do anything else though, hit that subscribe button. We're getting so close to our 23,000 subscriber goal. Make sure you enter the giveaways in the description down below, both of them. We're going to be doing both of them the second we hit 23,000. So don't miss your chance for free accounts, for free CD keys, or iOS gift cards. So make sure you do that. Let's start off though by jumping in game and seeing what the event preview shows. All right, guys, so let's start off with Imp's Adventure. Seems like this one, nothing special. The same old, same old. Make sure if you are interested, though, in roguing copies, it might be an event to spend on if you are a spender. If you're not a spender, as always, try to purchase all of the dice. Try to get every dice possible. Um, and a lot of times you can get up to the 200 to 230 dice chests. Not dice, just star chests. There we go, guys. Um, I think I feel like I've done that in almost every account, gotten the free hero copy. If you need any help figuring out how to use your dice, how to get some good RNG, make sure you check out some of our past Imps Adventure events. We kind of go over strategy in them as well, and at least for us, it has been working out, so take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> we do have the shelter mission, and this shelter is a straight up assassin shelter, so make sure you complete these first and foremost you'll get gear you should be getting imps adventure dice as well but really interesting so shia i guess if you're planning to build her in the future which if you're free to play you're probably going to skip shia anyway you're going to want to build a queen or an asmodel by the time you get the resources for it but she's all right ithaca of course is pretty much the god tier unit if you want to focus on pve even without a Delacium army, she is the strongest hero you can use for damage, especially since her damage has been fixed with uh, with the snake and the wolf pet. So her burn or no, her poison and her bleed finally count for the pet. So that's really interesting news. We're probably going to make a separate video about that if you are more interested. Heart Watcher, everybody should be grabbing Heart Watchers until they have enough copies to make like an E3 eventually. Nakia, not great. Omivore Faithblade, don't touch with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> you don't want to be wasting gems and especially don't want to waste light and dark fodder for these heroes. They're just simply not worth it. We do have the Grey Dwarf's Blessing coming back. Uh, grab your gear, same as always. We have a couple other things. Mid-Autumn Celebration, we're going to go over that here in a minute. This is the two-week uh, event. Should be pretty good. I'll say should. And last but not least... Of course, we have value packages. When don't we have value packages? So let's jump over. Let's talk about the mid-autumn celebration. First up is probably really important to mention. This is a two-week event. So it will not only be this week, but the following week. So it should cover Imp's Adventure and then Heroic Scroll Week for the new hero, which we'll probably find out more information in about a week. Uh, but let's start off with the Moonlight Market. So you're going to use starlight orbs to exchange for special rewards. Rewards will include pain to win artifacts, puppets, and heroes of your choice. How do you get these starlight orbs? Well, you're going to get them by spending Imp's Adventure dice, heroic scrolls during the heroic scroll event, arena tickets, gems, gold, and spirit. So yes, we did say heroic scrolls in there, but don't worry. It's because this is a two-week event. It covers both events, so it's not like you're going to have to use scrolls outside of events. So we'll have to see if it's worthwhile. Uh, probably find out Thursday what the rewards are, what pay-to-win artifacts will be in it especially. Again, it might be time to use scrolls for some people. Others are probably saving for Christmas and Chinese New Year. So we'll see. Next up, we have the mid-autumn sign-in. So, log in every day to get rewards. I think they're just going to be 100% free given to you. Rewards will include relics, super wishing coins, five-star shards, elite five-star shards, heroic scrolls, and wishing fountain coins. 
Uh, and you'll actually also be getting a limited mid-autumn avatar if that's something you guys like collecting. And the rule is the same. Just log in daily to get these rewards. The next one is VIP rewards. So originally we were thinking this was going to be just free rewards based on your current VIP level. But the more I look at it, the more it sounds like it's going to be spend $200, get things. So at least that's how it's been in the past. So what it says is spend money during the event to the designated points and get rewards. We've had this once before earlier this year. The rewards include dark five star shards, light five star shards, both of those elite, by the way, relics, hero chest and artifact chest. So that artifact chest right there kind of throws up a giant red flag of ah, this will be a $200 event, like minimum $200 to get what I am guessing is what we had before, where it's just a pay to win artifact chest. You pick the artifact you want and you move on from there. So we'll have to see, though. There is also a mid autumn pack available for purchase during the first week of the event only, I think. This is Ignis, Ignis Festival Skin Dragon Maiden. It's going to give damage reduction, HP, and heal effect. So that is really, really good for her. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so that covers at least the mid-autumn event. I'm going to go over something next that we have a lot of information on, thanks to Jimmy. We're not going to make a huge video about this one just yet. But we'll do a little spoiler for you guys. So in case you have not noticed, on the Chinese tap tap test servers, the second PVE mode, Base Vortex, is out right now. Uh, the best way that I can kind of talk about it is, imagine if, if Aspen Dungeon merged with Tower of Oblivion. So it's six on six fights. But the style is very much like Aspen Dungeon. Uh, there's ways to get buffs, there's areas you have to clear, you get rewards, including, you know, Transcendence Crystals and Stellar Shards. It's going to be really, really interesting. So as you can see here, this is what the map looks like of all the planets. Every time you move on to another difficulty, you get a new set of five planets. You see here the rewards you can get and the team that you are going to be fighting against. It is a six on six battle. But yeah, you I mean, major, major way to get gold, spirit and stellar shards, plus a bonus. You might get some other things like heroic strolls, profit orbs, things like that. Um, Yeah, it's going to be really interesting. We'll do we'll do a deep dive, but I figured I'd give you guys like a little bit of a teaser right now. It looks like it'll be pretty interesting. Hey, more game modes you get, the better, in my opinion. So we'll have to see. We'll do an entire breakdown tomorrow, most likely on Wednesday, going over Jimmy's content. Make sure if you guys have not yet, go over, give Jimmy a subscribe, give him some views. He's get, he, I think he's already over a 1,000 subscribers, and he's working on his hours. So definitely give him some love because he is absolutely amazing at getting us early information from the test servers. And honestly, it's so much fun theory craft and based on what he shows us so hopefully you guys enjoy this one again make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not just yet we're so close to our next sub goal we will probably hit it within today so if you want a chance to win i think we're giving away what we have two ios accounts we're giving away we have like six cd keys plus we have 60 dollars in ios gift cards of course only for the u.s I have them laying around. Might as well give them to you guys. So let me know what you guys think. Definitely look forward to see Thursday's information about the event a little bit more, the mid-autumn event. And then, of course, I can't wait to get our hands on the Space Vortex as well. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time. But wait, guys, I actually forgot. I have more CD keys to give away. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to add another CD key into this video. So leave a comment down below with uh, Vortex. Let's make the word Vortex this time. So if you guys are interested, we'll add one more, one more giveaway. One more. So uh, if you're interested in another CD key, 
for I believe they are 1,000 gems, oh, two profit orbs. I think that's what it is. It's pretty good value, 2,000 gems for a CD key, but leave it down below, Vortex, and uh, we'll give it away. So now I'll see you guys next time.